that the uh, golf course at Sharp Park has been under uh, public attack as a, uh, with the argument that if the golf course is closed, there will be more money for uh, the uh, arts and, and uh, social service organizations. That is a false argument. The, uh, the golf course serves a very diverse community. It provides uh, uh, to seniors, to juniors, to everyone in between, to to the whole range of our community. I am 12 years old. I have and I've been playing golf for six years, and I think that is a very a very fun sport. I don't think you should close Sharp Park Golf Course. And me and my sister play at the course all the time, and it's and we. I'm part it. of the first tee program of San Francisco, and I love to golf. Golfing is one of my favorite things to do, and being a Pacifica resident, there are not many courses in the area. By closing Sharp Park Golf Course, my sister and I will have less of an opportunity to practice and play. Also, my mom is a single mom working a full-time job and does not have the time to drive us all the way to Harding Park in San Francisco. At the first tee, my sister and I are now in the Eagle class, one of the highest classes in the program. Being in this class requires extra practice, which will be harder for us because there will not be as many courses in the area. Being an avid golfer, Sharp Park is a great resource, but I will not be able to make the best of it if it is not available for my use. And not only for my use, but, the, but for my fellow Pacificans who golf. Golf is everyone's sport, but taking away this course disqualifies many from playing the game. Sharp Park is one of my favorite courses to play play and I hope you will let me continue playing on it. Thank These you. kids, seniors, regular players, minority players, every kind of golfer, good, bad, and indifferent, use Sharp Park. I urge you to consider the fact that Sharp Park pays for itself. It has cohabitated with the frogs and the snakes and all of the other wildlife there for 75 years. Good evening, Supervisors. I'm Steve Rhodes, City Manager for the City of Pacifica, and I'm appearing on behalf of the Mayor and Council of Pacifica. Over two years ago, our City Council unanimously went on record supporting retention of Sharp Park Golf Course in Pacifica. A year ago, the Board of Supervisors asked that other governmental agencies that were benefited by the course to step forward and assume a role in the operation and improvement of the course and in the protection of the habitat that is a part of the course. That is precisely what we have done. Through the efforts of Congresswoman Speer and her staff, meetings have been held among the interested parties and potential funding sources have been identified for the improvement and enhancement of Sharp Park. The City of Pacifica has been providing information and assistance to San Mateo County staff to support the county in developing a proposal to take over the operation of the course, which would relieve San Francisco of this responsibility. Sharp Park is black, white, Chicano, Latino. It is uh, Chinese. It is the working man. It, uh, it is not losing money. It has made money. But, uh, last December, we had uh, the Prozac Committee vote 14 to 1 in favor of continuing Sharp Park as an 18-hole golf course. Uh, we also had uh, the Park and Rec Commission 6 to 0 vote in favor for the same thing. This, uh, what is needed for these golf courses? These golf courses will bring you money, and they can bring you big, big money. For every dollar in fees, with even 50,000 rounds, and we're doing 54,000 with one hand tied behind our back because of maintenance problems. But we, low, ball, 50,000 dollars for every dollar in fees, which means if you raise it ten dollars in fees, you make five hundred thousand dollars a year in sharp. Do not get rid of these golf courses. They're diamonds in the rough. They will make money. They are making money. Do not be fooled by those that would have you believe otherwise. Please really do your homework on this one. Sharp Thank you so much. So keep it open. My name is James Ross, San Francisco resident fifty years. I support Sharp Park. My name is Ronald Allen, and I'm resident of San Francisco. I'd like to say we sell Sharp Park. My name is John Wald, I'm a San Francisco resident, and I'm wishing and hoping this place stays 
That's your golf course. Thank you very much. And I'm not a golfer, but the golfers seem to love it, too. I, I like to go there and go to the restaurant, and it's just beautiful. I live near there. I've been there 30 years. I grew up in San Francisco, if that matters. Um, when it comes to the Sharp Park Golf Course, uh, this previous speaker mentioned something that you might not have considered, um, and that is, I'm not a golfer, but many years back, a friend of mine introduced me to the restaurant at the clubhouse at the Sharp Park Golf Course, and um, it, it serves, it, the whole public can come, and it serves generous, tasty, um, Varied menus, well cooked at a very reasonable price. It isn't just recreational to have a golf course that is accessible, but in the times when people have less and less discretionary money, and many of the uh, sites that could be used if you haven't got money are being closed, such as state or limited, such as state parks, I think it is very essential that there be places that people can go. The value of exercise in education and, and for people uh, to develop and be healthy is very, very important. Um, I hope that you will save the golf course on many, many reasons, and I am looking forward to some good judgments on your part. I just have to say that listening to a lot of this testimony here today, I don't envy you your job. I think it's an extraordinarily difficult one in this financial crisis to try and make these decisions between all these fine programs that really need to be supported. And I'd just like to say, speaking only for myself at this point, as a San Francisco resident, as a golfer that goes down to Sharp Park and enjoys it there, I don't think we're paying enough. I think that the green fees are too low. I think that we could very easily support a financial crisis surcharge or something of $5 or $10 would still be a very low paying course. Maybe split that between the course and the city. Uh, to help to uh, pay for more overhead costs in the city and also to improve the course. If you improve the course, you're going to get more, uh, you're going to get more rounds there, and that's going to be more revenue for the city. And I think we, although we're a positive contributor financially to the city right now, we can even be a greater contributor to the city with uh, some kind of program like that, and that would be my suggestion. I also volunteer as the city's golf historian, and I will tell you that this property, among all the golf courses we have, is the most historically significant. The brainchild of John McLaren, who brought in the greatest golf architecture in the history of the game, Alistair McKenzie, to design what was then known as the Second St. Andrews, and which today is colloquially known as the Poor Persons Pebble Beach. This is a tremendous asset used by a very diverse community that needs it. And it's an asset that contributes rather than takes. It contributes between three and four hundred thousand dollars a year to Rec and Parks overhead, and it does that with very, very modest green fees. And I live in District 11, and I'm proud that I live in the most working class district of the city. Uh, I live directly across from Balboa Swimming Pool, and uh, I've lived there for 22 years. I've never swum in the pool. I've never played tennis there. I've never played soccer there. But it makes me feel good that I can look across the street and see kids from working class and poor families, that they get to enjoy recreation because the city's supporting it. For the same reasons, I hope you will not close Sharp Park and Golf Sharp Course. Sharp Park is truly a one of the very few that exist of a true municipal course where just average duffers from working class and poor families, seniors on fixed incomes, veterans, Filipino veterans, you name it, that they get a chance to get outdoors and have a recreational opportunity. So please don't vote based on some misinformation or stereotypes of country club Republican white golfers. They don't play at Sharp Park. Thank you.